Let's speak to Peter Zalmayev, director of the Eurasia Democracy Initiative, and he joins me now from uh, New York. Uh, uh, Peter Zalmayev, your organization is dedicated to the promotion of democracy in post-communist society. So let's talk about democracy. How democratic was the removal, uh, the forced removal of Viktor Yanukovych? In other words, how much sympathy is there for the situation that Eastern Ukrainians find themselves in in their disagreements with the government in Kiev? Well, uh, the, the situation in Maidan uh, the, and the, that led to the overthrow of President Yanukovych uh, was uh, due to the, uh, you know, almost four years of unrestrained kleptocracy that his regime engaged in, uh, which was then followed by his promise uh, to Ukrainians that he would move Ukraine closer into the Western orbit by signing the um, uh, economic agreement with the European Union, which he later reneged on by signing on with uh, Vladimir Putin. So um, I think from the very beginning, the premise of Vladimir, uh, of uh, Mr. Yanukovych's rule was quite undemocratic and the Ukrainians felt incumbent upon, uh, upon them to restore democracy by overthrowing him. Okay, so let's stick with the concept of democracy. Uh, how much of uh, free democracy is Russia? Would it make a difference to this situation if it was um, a free democracy like many Western nations, do you think? Uh, if Russia was a democracy, I think it would make a huge difference, first, I think, and, for, uh, and foremost, uh, by allowing uh, Russian media to report on developments in Ukraine in an unbiased manner. And what we've seen for the last two or uh, months, at least, is a massive disinformation campaign against Ukraine, which is directly, uh, which is directed primarily at the internal audience uh, in Russia, uh, and uh, as a result has um, limited uh, space for debate, uh, uh, you know, within the Russian society as to uh, whether, uh, you, you know, Russia's actions in Ukraine, Russia's annexation in Crimea was uh, legitimate and was actually uh, beneficial for Russia. Peter Zalmayev, I'm afraid that's all we have time for, but we very much appreciate uh, your contribution. Thank you.